Alright, good evening Twitch, my name is Alloway and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, today I am doing this on my own. I'm in a party with, with Minecraft but I haven't muted so he doesn't just uh, kick in during a cutscene. So, let's just... I have... Oh, grab that. I have about t a little over two hours before I have to turn in, get ready to go to work tomorrow. Oh, so, sounds like she's in Somebody, trouble. Please! I'm stuck up here. Help! Somebody, please! Oh, well, that didn't work. Still got it. Thanks for saving me from those machines. Okay. Let me plug in my mic because I gotta. Just gave me the battery low warning. Alright. I just want to thank you. Thank you. I thought those watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Awana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My own mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. All right. Everybody who just jumped into the stream, welcome. Um, Tarky. No, that's not Tarky. That's a boar. That's a turkey. Rain's not so bad. There we go. Sorry, losing my train of thought. Yes, to those of the stream, welcome. As I said before, I've got two and a half hours before I got to turn in. Uh, for work tomorrow, so I hopefully should be enough. There aren't too many side activities available early on, thankfully, so I can get that done and hopefully finish the uh, uh, up to a certain point in the story before tonight ends. Which will be great. Box. I should probably not waste so much time. But I gotta say, the graphics, man. I don't, I don't take this enough time to appreciate the graphics the in this game. trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Yes, and even though Aloy's got good tracking skills on her own, the focus does prove to be a very useful tool. It's her sixth sense. Sixth sense. If I said that correctly, I don't know. I butcher my words very often. Top off health. Uh, I wish I can grab this now. Do I have any skills? I have got one skill point. 
I need two for this, but once I get this, that's basically is all I need. <laughs> then I think I'm gonna save my skills for the for down here. For this tree. Somebody's not wondering what that tree is. It's supposed to be all locked away because well it's uh something you it's uh, it, it's locked away so you don't spoil the story a little bit. And you'll see and if we might get there actually, but I doubt we will. I'm known for wasting a lot of time in open world games. <laughs> they say the straightest, the straight, the quickest. Ellen's here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. The quickest, the shortest between two points is is a straight line. In an open world, there's no such thing as a straight line in an open world game. Grab all of this now. And as I said in the first stream, you early on you want to grab a lot of um, well, a lot of anything you can get your hands on. You don't really know what you can use it for up until later on. Actually, that's a good point. Can I? I can. Yep, that's what you use the meat for in this game, make potions. But this is what all certain types of uh, plants are used for, is to use, um... So you can, uh... Build, gives you a little resistance to... Wait, resistance? Or just gives you straight immunity? Um... Yeah, it's resistance to certain types of damage. Not something you have to worry about too early on. I mean, you just grab the f the plants. You don't really know what the hell it's for. Um, I don't really bother with them. What they, if I have them and I remember to use them, I'll use them. I don't use them very often. There, time to get that spear. All right. Okay, up. There we go. Not here anymore. Okay, so maybe stealth isn't my strong suit anymore. If it isn't obvious, don't look at the watcher flashback. Um, skill. I mean, um, ability. You see their eyes glowing? Don't look at them. enough souls this is really easy to dodge. So now if certain something I forgot about, I believe scrappers do it and certain other machines do it. Some machines use what's, I think it's some sort of e uh, echolocation type ability, which allows them to, uh, essentially to sca uh, scan you if, they, if you give them a reason to. So. So 
something you want to be weary about, but machines this early on, they're too easy to take down. In my opinion, anyway. A well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. And I say it's easy to take down, but so if you do struggle, don't feel bad. I've been playing games for a long time. Most notably, I think the one game that's prepared me the most for it is probably the Soulsborne series. Because, obviously, Souls the Soulsborne games, do ta timing your dodges is, um, uh, rather important. So, in most other games with a more forgiving dodging system, I find them ridiculously easy <laughs> in um, comparison. While I'm here, carrying capacity. I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> upgrading stuff, upgrading your carrying capacity is important. So when you have an opportunity, do it. <laughs> like especially here, early on. Oops, wrong button. Early on in the game. Not too many dangerous creatures around here. I don't think very many dangerous creatures hang out around here in this area even later on. So, take your opportunity. Um, there we go. To um, shoot, uh, it's target practice, mate, basically. If you can help it, you want to do your silent strikes inside bushes. That way, machines don't uh, see you when you perform the act. You do stand up for a moment though. Most of these small machines, they go down in one hit from this thing, so... Even on the higher difficulty, so don't feel too... Um, you don't have to worry about it as much. Oh! He sees the corpse of his friend. Surprise!
to say I don't really use rocks, but I've used rocks a lot more than I have in previous playthroughs. He's gonna go graze. All clear. Not really. That went better than expected. Oh, you're actually coming to get me, aren't you, pal? Yep. In the beginning, the machines ran from uh, you when you scared them. Now they're a little bit more... Some of them, yeah, they do run off, but... Like, that one's running off now, but if I chased after it and got close enough, he will turn... He will turn around and fight. Usually one comes after while the rest of his herd runs off, but since he's the last one standing, I'm pretty sure he's gonna... No, he's not. You are hunting Strider, not chasing it. <laughs> Fun fact about, uh, this is where you also want to pay attention to, like, components. Like, most components that come in a canister can be ruptured if you hit it with a uh, arrow of a similar element. So that was a blaze canister so designed to make fire arrows. You hit it with a fire arrow, it goes up. Light, uh, lightning canisters, you'll see those later. They behave similarly, and then the frost canisters are supposed to also do the same thing, but sometimes the frost canisters are a little um, uh, iffy with the hitboxes, or maybe it's just I'm a bad shot. Either way, damn it. Well, if that isn't proved I'm a bad shot, I don't know what is. Did I wander where I think I wandered? I might have.
don't really have to waste my arrows on them. I just like to. I just like to shoot them. It's, this game makes shooting somewhat primitive weapons actually really fun. Even doing side story shit, I'm I'm not, I'm not going there immediately. <laughs> That'll keep my stomach quiet. Drop. This is actually this is a fun fact. This is actually over here is the tutorial area, like where um you played as Aloy when she was like six years old, five, six, maybe seven years old, and um it's Thank now a so scrapper well. site. few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Hmm. All right. Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. Now, when you're doing missions like these, it's usually relatively quiet in the area you're running around, there, but bucket. never hurts to be. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? It never hurts to, um. The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks. So it's a good idea to keep your head about you. It's quiet, but still. Look around, listen. You're not the only hunter out in the world at the moment. Doesn't mean other humans are gonna come attack you, you'll find you'll you usually see humans. Humans stick out like a sore thumb. Unless they're like hiding in the bushes. Okay. Keep your head on, keep, keep, stay alert, and you won't walk into ambushes like that. It's gonna happen. <laughs> but, hopefully you're weary about it, you won't have to worry about it. Dark Eight. This'll last. She should have enough skins for that now, right? Yes. I need more bones and more metal shards. <laughs> uh, that's gonna sting later. That's twisted. 
I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. Oh. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Hmm, what are those scrappers picking at? Fallen made short work of it. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Okay. Chasing down a boar. They run slow enough that you can. You can run up to them and hit them with their spear, thankfully. And they are, they, and it does, as you see, you need their bones for, is it bones? For, um, crafting. As you can also tell, the, uh, the odds of you getting it are slim. And the bones aren't even the rarest part. Jesus Christ, Turkey. Die. <clears throat> also doesn't also doesn't help that uh, sometimes, yeah, you'll get uh, talismans and other such shit. <laughs> no. Ah yes. Looks good. Bone. Even though um you don't really need them. Was that enough? Or do I need two bones? I needed two bones. Alright. Find one eventually. Nothing to worry about. for a long time. Why take food and gear now? It's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? The man's a schizophrenic. He is. Of course, they don't know about schizophrenia, but he's a schizophrenic. If you don't promise, I'll jump. I will. I'll I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener, so come listen to me, just as you would the others. They, they say not to listen, <laughs> but Alara always said, never ignore a speaker I can see. <laughs> All right, I'll hear you out. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? 
spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brom isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory, and may the Forgotten leave you be. I think this will hurt on the way down. Is there a fa not really a whole lot of place to fast rope, but uh, this was Skyrim. I could use that for a potion. <laughs> oh, shit. Ouch. I think I have... I should be able to just kill one more machine and I'll have enough to, um, pop off. Which way are you coming, big boy? They're angry. I got stuck on the tree. Wrap them now while they're easy. Be fascinating. They weren't looking for me. If he comes after me, I can take him. Now, where was I? Return the fuck. I need your I need your skin and bones. First you send a Rana back to me and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. <laughs> me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, 
I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Alright. I don't think I can mod out the spear just yet, can I? No, I can't. Alright. What's left? Um, only thing left is go get the thing from Karst and progress the main story. <laughs> I actually do have a decent chunk of time as well. Do I want to? You know what? I'll detour into that. And I will grab what supplies I can. This old place. I haven't been here in years. Wonder what I can find. Okay. So this This is familiar. This has a few secrets that you um also has a couple of rats. Rats are exceptionally rare to come by out in the wild so if you see them in these old ruins don't hesitate to drop them tough but I'm used to it I exactly remember what I needed it for, though. Oh, I just used my one board bone. Might as well just do what I can now. Oh, here's one secret. This is the only... There's multiple of these in the game. I think there's like a dozen or so. This is the only one that doesn't show up on the map. Uh, there's 30. 30 of them. There's a map that shows you where almost all of them are. That's the only one that's not on the map. And then somewhere around here was another power cell. And that is important for... Um, the cer this is, and that is to unlock the special secret armor in this room, which you um, can actually miss one of the power cells um, around and you won't be able to get back to it until much later in the story so I'll grab that too because I'm pretty sure I'm going to come across that as well Somewhere around here is that power cell, and I don't remember where it is. I know it's here somewhere.
Ah, there it is. That area back there. I wonder if I can find a way into it now that I'm older. Indeed you can, Aloy. Indeed you can. Seriously, I'm full on full health potions already. Evidently I am. <laughs> Kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. All good things. It's the um, note essentially explaining why they all commit suicide. They wanted to. Facility was compromised. Anyway, I have all the stuff I wanted from this place. So now let's just follow the uh, objective marker until I can get out. And. Oop. Right. Nutritious. Certainly a lot better to eat. Certainly a lot easier, better to eat now than it is back then, uh, in here than it is back in our time. At least that the rats, at least that the rats uh, come out of the sewers. Yep. Okay, that's a beautiful sight. I wish I actually had time to um, admire it. And this is also one of those games where you, you, you're supposed to be on a timeline, but you can spend all the, the day and night cycles constantly going. So you never have to actually worry about um, time of day or any of that. And when it's time for the story to say, oh, nighttime, just sit at a campfire until nighttime. Or just quick save at a campfire and it will. Um, set you back to set you to nighttime and trigger whatever story event you have to uh, go to. Anywho. Actually, where do I stand with... I'm gonna need... I don't really need fire arrows that much at the moment, but... No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Boar! Come back here. I need your skin and bones. Never mind. And here's another one of those uh, uh, trophies, which I'll knock down for the sake of it. But anyway. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> yeah. Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. 
Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. <laughs> Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. I just happened to have a scrapper lens on standby. <laughs> sure, why not? I forget if I can equip all four weapons at this time in the story, but... Yep, this is basically... It's not a... Full listing of all the weapons in the game, but this is basically it. I don't usually... I only get maybe... I don't really get very many of these weapons, actually. But, um... Most of these, no, I don't get. Th you actually get a free one later, but I'm probably gonna buy it later, earlier, because I don't go to that part very frequently. Mm. You can create a job for it, so like if you need to get 75 shards, you can do a list if you really want. You can also play a movie, teach you how to use the tool if you really don't know how to, if you really can't figure it out by um, what uh, the game is telling you. Not so bad. Sell some stuff, what do I have available to sell? Talismans you can sell for. This is sold for money. Sold for money. Process metal block is sold for money. They usually tell. It, it's um. The uh, game tells you what it's used for, so you don't really have to guess about um, whether or not you'll need it further down the line. But um, some of these lenses. You do need to turn in for a quest later on down the line. I can't remember which ones is which ones, but I know Watcher Lenses is not one of them. And even if it is, I come across them commonly enough, so not too big a not too big a concern. The skins and the bones and the hearts though. I don't think I need watcher hearts right now. Again, easy enough to come by, so I don't have to worry about it if I do need one. You can sell your weapons too if you feel like running in with no weapon. Um, modifications. Why not? I don't use the green green ones. I don't use very often. You find pretty good ones later on. So mm. all right. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else. All right. My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. 
All right. And good luck in the proving. Blessing of <coughs> our mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Ross at the North Gate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Actually, it's the game also gives you tutorials for weapons like this, if I recall correctly. Yes, do 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 do. do. Yep, yes it does. Unfortunately, they also only count when you're tracking them. So, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to track the main story so I know where to go. And I'll use them on the, um... I'll use them whenever I get around to doing them. They're a nice boost to your XP, so go figure. Yep, it's the motherless outcast again. Go ahead and stare. Eh. It's fun to just stumble across little dialogues like this. Anyway, I've done most- I've done just about all the side stuff in this area that I care about, so... I'm gonna power through the main story for a little bit. I hunted a wabbit. firearms I do those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace is that the trouble you were talking about you will know soon enough until then we wait for dark wait for dark look Rost I've thought it through and I'm not going to shun you after the proving okay I'm just I won't do it I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Lost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. I got Odd Grata her rabbits. It was all mother... You always say... And you always... I don't know why that's the only one that doesn't disappear when you use it, but... Oh well. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Mm, no time for sleep. Gets up. Quick save.
opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. This was the result of the combat we heard earlier. Path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. Yep. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Nothing to worry about despite what he said. Might just be a tip so you to just start gathering resources, even though you should have been doing that already. I don't recall there being a watcher there, but. To. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Well, you gotta put that. Always gotta keep that in mind. Funny that they put so many ravagers in this little area. Or not ravagers, sawtooth. Sorry, the sawtooths. The most you ever see is like two together and out in the wild, but they've killed like four here, so should be. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? All right. So again, it's a new machine. Your easiest thing to do with a new machine: don't be seen by it and scan it. Show your weaknesses. Canister is one, but you can also tar target. The antenna on the back and that little tail stub there. Highlight his track so you know where he's going. And then quite simply just put the trap <laughs> in his path if you don't feel like trying to draw him into it. He will eventually just walk right into it. So I don't recall how many it actually takes to um trip him, of course. So, I'm just fly three. I don't need them any other place after this. So, now we wait. And I have a fire hour ready. I 
the certain degree of patience that comes with this game, of course. Grab these while I can. You can rupture that canister. It's uh, the explosion will give you a, a will hurt you as well, but it will give you a nice opening. Just like that. Shit. I dodged into that one. Alright, fine. Yes, I got him. Yes. Fire in the hole. Ouch. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why we always go into fights with full... Um... Full medicine pouch. Still dangerous, just be even though he's hurt, he's still dangerous. There we go. Well, a little bit sloppier than I would hope, but got the job done. Actually, before I grab him, I'm going to grab all of the uh, other resources here while I'm at it. Do I have the means to carry more healing? No. Yes, I can. And I'm going to. Because I want to. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many Braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a Brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Uh-huh. 
Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Yep. Alright, so... I am going to go grab more healing. Because I am going to need it. Do I need anything else? I don't need this. I might need it for the fights ahead, actually. Can I? Did I get double the carry capacity? Yes, I did. So. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to use this tree. Because it is nice to have more natural resources because... Can't be too prepared. You get more when you gather your, um... Well, gather any natural resource, really. Your Ridgewood, your healing herbs, your medicinal herbs. Surprise. Got a bite out here. No, oh, just wait till you get to the cut, Aloy. Just wait till you get to the cut. <laughs> yep, that's something to look forward to. Aloy does occasionally comment about the changing weather or when you walk into a uh, different weather condition. Anyway, it doesn't hurt to travel. Like, most open world games, after a while, I just fast travel everywhere, but when it comes to this game, I don't fast travel as much. Especially when I, well, actually, you know, when I need medicinal herbs and stuff, because I'll just, from point A to point B, any machine in my way, or any herbs I can pick up, I'll grab them, and I'll use them. This is rhyme I mm. don't need that. There's actually a place up in the cut where you get, where you can get like almost two pouchfuls back 
in like one spot and I really want to get that but I also know that area is guarded by like a bunch of um, I won't say tough machines but tougher than what you fight now so I'm not gonna be too too um uh um, what's it to just too eager to jump into that just yet? And I'm gonna make it a point to use my healing potions as well. Like usually, they're a quick they're a quick source of health. You um use them, you heal instantaneously. However much that um they provide, so it's always a good idea to just use. And yeah, the game gives you potions like no tomorrow sometimes, so not a bad idea to just use them when you have them. Of course, hunting around for them isn't easy. The Braves patrol outside, but they don't do a lot of internal patrolling, do they? Like, yeah, I don't... I say that because you just have watchers wandering by a bridge. You don't think that's going to be a common walkway? Never know when I might need these. That is what it is. Yeah. wandered in a giant circle, <laughs> I think. Oh. There's another one. As I said, they're scattered all across Nora lands. You find there's like 20 or so of them, I think. So... You want the trophy? Just look it up. Look up where they all are, and you go find them. All right. I'm at three-quarter medicine pouch. I don't think I should be able to handle like the next, the tough part, and then the game will give me material to survive. But as I've been demonstrating, I'm not exactly that great at this game anymore. So might be uh wise to just stock up on medicinal supplies. The actual proving itself doesn't require you to fight anything. Meat. It's... I said, um, but you do have to... But, um, between now and when you're actually able to, um, freely run around the world and gather material, there will be a boss fight. So, oh, somewhat of a boss fight. Oops. Oh, 
think they're gonna come after me? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna come after me. Even if they do, it's not too bad to fight. Did not mean to fucking use a fire arrow on a duck or a goose, but it's what I had on hand. <laughs> you know, I only my only gripe about the focus in this game is it doesn't show you like all the natural resources, but I'm not surprised. For one thing, your UI would be completely fucked. And um it would just be too much to process. Thought I found this. Indeed. That's oh, that's fire killing me. I'm almost done though. And then I can actually progress the main story, and I've still gotten actually I've got like an hour to do this. So it shouldn't be so bad. Man, where'd the time go? Who are you signaling that just killed your battle? Oh, wait. Fire kill route. I don't need that. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find it though. Should be able to find at least one more before I get to Rust. Target is running straight at me and I still can't hit it. Also, I love how the, the cutscene makes it seem like you can hit them anywhere and it will kill them, but that's not really true. <laughs> Tussle with me, big boy. I guess not. One more. Aloy, we must speak. It's you know what? I should have enough. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. 
I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I headed? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was of the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. this then it will remind me of you of everything you did and how you helped prepare me for this day thank you heavier than it looks but the cord is strong they all mother bless you Aloy. Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proving. Yep. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. 
Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Yep. Very much like how you would see people dancing in the taverns in Skyrim. But. Oh, there's another one over there. No, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Hot as a forest fire. Yep. A lot of Emily. these characters. It's you, assets. isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proofs. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Yep. <laughs> I do like the looks. Some of these armors do look nice, except that they don't do give you any protection. <laughs> so, I'll go with this for now. Yes. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. <laughs> Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> Drink more. Ah. Yep. Change your troubles away. <laughs> Dining facility. I'm trying to at least enjoy the moment, but... Jog. Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? And monster wants to hang on a bus. Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up Listen on the roof all night if you now. want. Yeah, I will! But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. I won't gone. let the Karja Faithless the stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? 
you can sit and enjoy and watch it and enjoy the sto enjoy adds a little bit of uh, substance to the universe but over here karst what are you doing here careful pretend like we've never met I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wild to remember how could I forget and how generous of you to talk to me now don't be like that you know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. <laughs> anyway. See you later, Karst. Good luck. Okay, the face animation's a little iffy sometimes. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah! Sun King yeah. Of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance hold Luminance. your fruit, nor... Oh. Nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Right, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avaz, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. People of Kenora, on the eve of your proving, unknown device detected. The Karja stand with you. Perhaps the Karja has come to just like mine. I won't deny them the chance. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> uh. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Menorah is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. <laughs> and who can blame them? 
I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. <laughs> you said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. I might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. 
from where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Yep. <laughs> what else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Yep. I apologize, I am just wasting time with dialogue, but... You know what? Some people like to hear it, and it gives me an opportunity to just... Catch my breath, think, gather my thoughts so I don't sound like an idiot. Although nothing, not much can prevent that, admittedly. Um, see, <laughs> at all that time to think, I still can't think of one long, coherent thing to talk about. Fortunately, since I'm just this is a single-player game, I can be quiet. Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Yep. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Don't know how they lit that, but our prayer. Why is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. Love how everybody just starts moving away, like the only part is just to lift it and go. <laughs> There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Oh. Ah, too much romance and not enough fist fights. This shit. Let me talk to him. Outcast might surprise us. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. 
or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> yep. Alright. I know this this part is a little more cutscene and dot talking than actual gameplay, but it is what it is. We've gotta add some flavor to the game after all. Still partying. Mother mess and chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. This is the bed house. With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very pregnant here. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. He gets what he well, deserves. Well, well, look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Yep. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Deck em. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know... I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Yep, that is one of the few instances I actually know that it's different based off your decisions. Like if you if you choose to throw the stone and knock it out of his hand, Aloy will mention that. She'll still say, you know, this is the part you leave out of the story, but she mentions that. And I don't actually know what happens if she drops the rock. I've never done that choice. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Oh. So, your first day in mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has certain charms. Homey enough. Once you're accepted, that's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Unfortunately, I know what happens next, so it just makes it even more morbid, I guess. And this game just looks amazing. This asshole judge, unfortunately. Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? An arrow in your heart. Okay, so easy thing is just to take down one of these suckers and loot his body. So, how do you do that? You land one in his tail. You rupture one of those, it's basically an instant kill. At least on a difficult with the difficulty below this. That was fucking dope, Jesus. See? Look how easy that was. There we go. Got it. Asshole cheats. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Does it? Yes, it also despawns all the ones you've currently killed, so you're stuck with. And again. Come on. Hey. Faster, come on. And now we take off. I've gotta catch up. Don't need to do any more shooting the rest of the way. It's all parkour from here. Asshole, the cheat, an asshole competitor, an asshole judge. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Ervala, but you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now that's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, put it forward now! Stop right there. 
The difference between crazy and dedicated is who wins is if you die trying. How'd she get up there? Shortcut, a dangerous one. I've seen my whole life for this. They had a try, but I had the wilds. Precision, not enough. Must be perfect. I remember what they said for Jackson. If you have the breath to say that, you're not running hard enough. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. And just like that, I shortcut in front of everybody. Run, Ayla, run! <laughs> run! <laughs> Don't look back, just go! <laughs> she didn't win! The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! But she is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. Nobody touched a duck? Move! Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we will make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! See, standing by his own. Even if he is an asshole, he has somewhat of a redeeming quality. Too many of them. We can't win. What do you people train for? Jesus. Fall before the shadow. We can't hold them. Calm Fall the fuck the down and start shooting. Y'all really suck at shooting, just war. saying. They came coming! How many are there? Fight! I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed when, like, they show you like doing like actual spear fighting with Ross, and then all you do is just spam the attack button against these guys. But this isn't supposed to be like a sword and shield s game. We can't hold them. Oh, shit! Shit! Kill the invaders! Jesus fucking Christ! That's what I get for playing on hard. <laughs> Kill the defilers! They're too strong! We can't stop them! You know, 
as they, as what's his face said in Black Ops 3, arrow to the head still gets you a date with your maker. with the machine gun dies first. That's because machine gun's fun to use. Okay. Ouch. Huh. Motherfuckers can aim after all. There we go. Piece of cake. Close calls all the way, but piece of cake. Not a bad strategy, you know, if he wasn't so fleeted or so short footed. Turn your face to the sun, child. Up a Ross to save the day. Rather short fuse. Just like that, Ross is gone. The first time that happens, it stings a lot more, admittedly. Can 
Take her there is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! I'm not gonna lie, I do like the way this outfit looks on her. I'm just sad it's not an outfit you can get. <laughs> Okay, now, somewhere around here <laughs> is another power cell. God knows if I can remember where it is. But if you miss it now, you can't come here until later in the story. They will not let you enter. My goal is good. But where's my focus? Focus the one I took off that killer. Where are they? It's not in here, I remember that much. It's somewhere further ahead. Was it? I'm picking up some kind of signal. Somewhere around here. Ah, there we are. Spinora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? There we go. Found the parcel. Power cells. But what do I do with it? You grab like five more, and then you go, and then you um. I forget what you do. You do something. <laughs> there. With the rest of my things. Make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for identity scan. 
You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Yep. Why try to kill me just because I look like you? Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Now, obviously, if you know what that nodding... Inside the mountain. It is easier if I show you. At if you can, if you recognize those DNA and that 99%, that is, uh, they basically, I won't say any further. Probably won't remember to say it later, but I won't. Um, but I won't say it now for the sake of spoilers. You can basically put it together on your own, though, for the most part, unless it's like your first game. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lanzra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Your mother? <gasps> oh. for a dentist scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words 
Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me, because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. <laughs> uh. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. grace of the one goddess we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe no barrier can now stay you from your sacred task may all mother protect you and sustain you stay true I will make ready for the hymn Hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. 
I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. Whatever happened to that boon I was supposed to get. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. <clears throat> if, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. What was... Oh. I'm afraid there... But what there was... Thank you. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl. And he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. All right, is there Nora a faithful? Oh, mother, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their oh, voices, mother, our we will join ours Show us to theirs. Your, your will be done. The uh, girl. So she survived her wounds. We won the proving, goddammit. I am not an outcast anymore. I need to keep my kit dry. I don't know if you can hear my mother blow drying her hair in the background, but if you can, I apologize. Did I really use she up all that? Lives. The tribe is lucky to have Did I really use all that healing in that one little thing? Probably. I need a campfire. Campfire, campfire, campfire. I'll find a use for you. There's a campfire. I will grab whatever I can. Maybe I can, maybe I'll respawn when I come back. Oh. The game is being very generous. This next part's not going to be easy, obviously. It could be a lot worse, but it's not so bad. Every machine it touches. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. 
I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I... ...wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... ...he fought to save me, and... ...he died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that... ...day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well... He says... ...mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief. But she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the Proving, but... ...she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I liked her. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead, or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... ...I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? Gotta keep it light, right? What's the danger in the Embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them... ...but the... ...killers slaughtered them. They have some... ...evil... Power over the machines, they corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother protect. You can't fall apart now. The tribe needs you. Indeed. Yep. Mom's done hair drying, uh, blow, blow drying her hair, so hopefully didn't interrupt the stream too much. Should be in bed by now. It's <laughs> all right. I've got mostly a full pouch of healing. I'm gonna need it. The first time fighting when I'm about to fight isn't easy with the equipment you currently have. Doable, admittedly, but not but difficult. <laughs> Especially on this difficulty. Things are hitting a lot harder than I anticipate, so I've got skills though. Alright. I'm gonna use these. Anyway. 
Oh wait, the campfire's outside the gate. Fuck. Alright. Beat this guy. Let's do it. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the proving. You saw boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker, so open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs, so do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Y'all realize you had a better position on top of the fucking thing, but. Don't think this is gonna be that helpful, but, um. Better than nothing. Yep. Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Ouch. Okay. Alright. Striders. Blow up. Blow up. There we go. Okay. Weaknesses. Big canister. Alright. Shit. Playing like Senate does. Okay. Two weaknesses that I know of. And that that confirms. Rocket pod. And cylinder thingy. Don't ask me this, don't ask for any of I have to look for a code with this guy again, so I still can't knock multiple arrows. Notice that little, notice the fire thing building up and the um, little thermometer thing building up. Ouch. A lot of the, a lot of the old war machines usually have that. If and when the thermometer builds up, it usually exposes some sort of weakness, like that little canister on top. The demon is dead. With the killers at the proving. How does a machine like that take control of all those striders? The hunt is over. 
Anyway. I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. Anyway. How does it possess other machines? What's its secret? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? The one yes. blinking thing, still blinking, Could obviously. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Resh says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. All right. Ray, I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Sire overrides available. I want to see if I can talk to Resh again. Let's see what this asshole thinks of me taking down the. They they say she fought like a sawtooth. Let's see. I don't know if I can actually get back up there to talk to him though. I think that's him up there. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I need to find a machine and see what this device can do. Alright, Twitch. I think that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and tell your friends. This has been Alloway, signing off. Did I have any comments? Nope, doesn't look like it.